Previously on The Cut, the remaining 13 contestants were challenged to design the official supporters kit for Bafana Bafana for 2010. High on enthusiasm, the ideas came easy, but the same enthusiasm was not shared amongst the teams. The other teams using all our contacts, where we're supposed to go, where they're supposed to help us with our embroidery, they offered us to come and use their place to work. The other teams there, doing it there. Things just didn't get better for God's team. In the race against time, a last-minute mistake seemed to have dashed their hopes of winning this week's challenge. You guys just put it upside down. F we f but I showed you which is the front and I Who showed you. Who put it there? At Style Council, both teams were congratulated on their kits, but it was Odysseus's team who were crowned the winners. From the losing team, the judges singled out the two fashion designers. I'll tell you this, a couple of my best, best, best cuts I did freehand. But in the end, it was Zenit who did not make the cut. That's, that's the bottom line. I don't know. I almost feel like Zenit was a victim. A victim to the judges. We are gathered here today in a chapel, which is a very popular venue for a wedding. And that is your task this week. You need to design a wedding. You need to make sure that all the elements fit into your overall concept for your wedding. So in terms of fashion, you will design a wedding dress, you will design an invitation, make the table settings, make sure you choose the flowers and the correct decor. And you need to make sure that the location that is chosen fits into your overall concept for your wedding. Michelle and Mulebuheng, you two ladies are this week's team leaders. And Michelle, because your team won at the last style council, you will choose first. So could you two ladies please come and join me? Glass. My pew. Odysseus. Vos. Le Nuovo. La Rad. Becky. George. Andile. Come. Now the twist is that each team needs to choose one person that will travel to the location. This person will travel today and needs to make sure that once they get to that location, they choose the appropriate venue for the wedding that is being conceptualized by their team right here in Johannesburg. So I'll give you a few minutes and you must decide who will be traveling. I don't know, what do you think? Michelle, who has your team selected to travel today? Odysseus. 
I messed up by sending Odysseus to go look at the venue, um, which now we lack a um, fashion designer. I feel he, he's, he's the best person. I can describe along with Hojang Mo at a certain with all the things they got like me the barriers they got like me like a through zone in terms of the communication and networking. Odysseus and Vos, you guys will be traveling to the location. I will see you guys again at Style Council, where the winning team will be excused and one person from the losing team will not make the cut. Good luck, guys. I'm looking forward to this because I think I can see Patogafela in the group having a place in this thing. You know, unlike with the, with the kit one, Sometimes some of us didn't have anything to do. I, I love the group that I'm because I can see everybody having a place, so it's going to be good this way. We're trying to come up with a profile for our celebrity couple, so we're trying to brainstorm that now quickly so we can send us their profile and uh, what did you ask for? A theme for the wedding. Um, culture. Zulu So what? She's young, she's a newsreader. She's 28, young, trendy, beautiful, newsreader, intelligent, obviously. Mm. Feisty, like maybe. She's, she's, care 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 of of she's one of those good girls. Goody two shoes. <laughs> Goody two shoes. I can Goody. see her already. <laughs> That's a challenge. I'm looking forward to it. That's like I came here knowing that. It was not going to be an easy ride, so like all I just take it one task at a time, give it my best, and move on to the next task. You have a man and a woman. What do you guys think? Woman, career. Be a lawyer. Can we do a singer? Can we do a what? A musician. Then like, oh, I could be at the seals. Hello. Yes. I know, I know, unless if you can design it for us and send it through somehow. Yeah, we're busy designing on the couple now, yeah, make it cool. I've been communicating with Michelle via SMS and on the telephone, so I've, and we've like thrown ideas of like the whole theme of the wedding, and I've started working on a few sketches which I'm gonna like try and MMS to them so they can actually start talking to the pattern maker in terms of patterns and everything. So what do they have in common? They love they nature and are healthy. Yeah. She reads a lot, she knows a lot about the world. He's and he's smart. an artist he's or a musician. A so <laughs> what is he? What culture does he come from? Let's make them opposites. No, he's not also Zulu. Tell me what's up here. I'm boring. Why don't we take an older version of you and an older version of Andile? Exactly. Okay, this could be fun. We can do that, hey? Yeah. Cool. Can I'm spontaneous. He's pretentious. Um, the concept. The concept is a puzzle. Okay. Connection. Things coming together, but the marriage is the symbolism of the end of the puzzle. This is the final, the final part of, of them. They got a couple of interesting ideas. The groom is a, is a drummer and then the bride is, is, is a popular news reader on TV. The only thing that I'm, I'm, I'm skeptical about, I don't, I don't want them to, in the whole conceptualization, I don't want them to go too cheesy. I want us to keep it very fresh and very original and very sophisticated. The key point for me is very sophisticated. You need what? A menu? Hmm. What do you want to call theme? What can we call the theme? We, we know that we're fusing Kosa and the African tradition together. So it's almost like it's nothing new. And obviously, you know, he'd want a piece of his culture and I'd want a piece of my culture. We actually need to take that culture and make it into a theme. We need something that to base our wedding on. We have to know what, what the dress is going to be like before we can actually choose yeah. stuff for yeah. the events. The dress I'm talking about is almost like the, it's, it's elegant. What if you, you kept the dress, the dress, and maybe had Zulu elements? Or... Yeah. that's too traditional especially like for me and Andy because we're two artists and we're funky and we're creative and you know, going traditional just wouldn't fit in with who we are so then one when I was thinking we were saying that maybe let's do like um, a 1920s twist to everything okay I'll keep you updated we're gonna go to the event coordinators now yeah make it cool okay bye 
Our concept is um bikaba ka loge lenyalo ke kopanya malapa ma bidu di khosha tse pedu le se bitsa round theme eu of which simplified is unity but we're working we're looking at it as a puzzle you know go ke ya kopana di malapa a ma bedi and um eh ka baka loge di khapotsa gona o monke mosutu o monke mzulu eh we're trying to join that you know? but i need colors yeah uh, okay cool basically our colors going to be cream so cream with with actually that is i feel is like you know the cream with it with hints of brown it could be like that <laughs> couple we are doing is an older version of me and an older version of Andine. First we thought of going traditional, adding the Kosa and the my Afrikaans background. We decided not to do that because we're not traditional, so we wanted to sort of contrast that. Seeing as the location apparently is in the game reserve, we want to contrast that and make it 1920s but still bring in that that African element and that creativity. Quirkiness basically, complete quirkiness. In the 1920s they used to have these hats that cover the eyes and traditionally when a wife gets married to um the husband they have to wear something that covers their eyes so we're going to play with that so everything kind of like almost gels together can I, can I phone or this is yeah sure why not yeah. um, here you go can I show you what, what do you want to ask in delay I just, want, I, just wanna, know I just want to know exactly what is what, what is like really thinking. Uh, I wanna let, let Odysseus explain because Andile is having problems with the whole concept. So maybe yeah. if Odysseus explains yeah. it too. Right now we need to work on our colors and what we want to put on this table because we now have to think this and order this stuff in for tomorrow. We need to make a decision now. So we need to sit and discuss black tablecloth overlay color what the plate is going to look like. Napkin the problem is now then get the color in Myanmar. Sometimes it symbolizes into a pet and go 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 see into London. Well, now we've got our main plan. You're coming and saying suddenly black is not good for the. There's a lot of colors to play around with. We're not making the whole table black, but the chairs are going to be black. Do you know that? Do you have a problem with that? No, no, no I'm cool with that. You got it now. Yeah, I'm good. I got it. Is that fine? I think it's just a matter of communication. I think we can get it done without me being there. Because it's all about concept and carrying through the concept right way, all the way through. I just need to reply this SMS to asking me if I win or not. About time when I can send the, um, the, the sketches. I'm, I'm trying to like run the whole African theme through it. Um, do you guys feel it's almost like a bit more African for this? It's different types of candelabra you can use. Okay. okay, so have a look. Have a look through the magazines. Have a look at what we've, we've got for you. But once again, just keep in mind to try and keep with that feeling that you, you're creating. Okay, concept arena is quite safe. And so it's not... It's safe. It's okay. So that's when we came back. When we came back, we okay, cool. We're going to tweak a couple of things. They're doing the wedding dress at the moment, as you speak. Leadership has not been easy thus far. It hasn't been easy in the sense that we are worn out, we are all worn out, and uh, having to keep that discipline. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm really trying, and uh, I'm here to facilitate and to help with the decisions, and that's all I'm not here to dictate. We're trying to sort out the entire, entire tweaking and all of that. Honestly, <laughs> wedding planning, um, personally, I, I found it very tedious. Mara, um, I found a way around it to actually make it fun. Do you want a strip overlay or a more overlay? You, know, you, need, you need to have a centerpiece. I mean, such bloody boring systems, man. But then again, how can we improve it? Let's break the boundaries. Yeah, you know what? Sucks. Let's break all that. <laughs> Snotty nose, formal, s- satin, silky. Yeah, that was 
a long road. Yeah. Anyway, we're here. It's dark. Can't see Jack. Don't know if it looks as good as I hope it does, but tomorrow morning, when the light comes, we shoot this thing. I get nice pictures and run back. We we'll make the half the newspaper and then we we'll make the other half very clean. But the sentences there will link up yeah. to the lines. You know, the yeah. side. It could be the invitation. Yeah. We give them first the this side. Is... It's like yeah. a sentence. That's yeah, but it doesn't end. Concept, concept, concept. <laughs> Attention to detail. <laughs> It's not going to be efficient to receive it because we're just so exhausted that we look like a foyer thing and we've been busy. So dark outside, I can't get any nice pictures. So um, I'm gonna like send you the ones from the inside of the venue for now. It will actually work with our, it will work with our concept and we can decorate it so nicely because the walls are very, very neutral and like our choice of going with a, with an ivory coloured um, silk satin with like black glass beads will be just perfect for this venue. Awkward. Do you know, would they look good? Orchids are great. Orchids will be fantastic and Lily's also will be great. Yeah, it's morning and we're at the venue that we were going to have the wedding at but now Last night when we got here, it was dark and everything. So we couldn't really see anything and it was just black everywhere. And then I woke up this morning and... Yeah. There it is. The yellow, the orange and the cream. Right there. It's too nice. We're gonna go and um, have that dress finished now. We're gonna finish it ourselves because um, we're a bit disappointed yesterday. A bit is an understatement. Um, our seamstress is not as quick and professional as honest, we thought. She doesn't know anything. She couldn't do the pattern. She knows nothing. She just do there. Everybody's feeling pressure. Everybody. Um, very few people are as cheerful as they were when we came here. And I'm one of them. You know, I'm tired. Um, homesick, homesick, and you know, physically, we're not a hundred percent, despite anything else. And and mood-wise, you know. I, mean, I think the most cheerful of us all came up here. Not cheerful, but keeping it together. Um, I think it's getting tougher and tougher every day. <laughs> pictures of the place. Um, I know the capacity of the venues and um, I've got the menu planned for the for the for the wedding, the, the options for the wedding and I've got I managed to do like a couple of more sketches for the wedding dress. So um, the only thing that's left out is just to design something for the groom and I think I'll only know exactly where this all fits in when I get back to Derp Joburg. That's pretty much it. And we're done, we're ready to go home. It's like eight o'clock now. We're getting material for the sample dress, for the wedding dress, and then we just need to get accessories around the plaza for our table. Time is very tight. I feel like there's only like few people in the group that's, group that's cooperating once again. But um, yeah, we're going to do it. We ran out of airtime. Um, Andy, once again, was making personal phone calls on our work phone. He's done it before and he's done it again now. So now we are up to sending these calls. We call me to overseas. Yeah. Jamie, she's looking in a big packet. There's no time management. This is African time. <laughs> African time. We thought the time was hectic last night, but now <laughs> you're not getting us out that easily. Yeah, man. Thank you, dog world. Ah, I'd call. It's good pressure. It's like that adrenaline rush. Let's see, Vio. It's about 60 bucks. Oh. Cool. 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 So It's coming, it's coming and I can see it already, I can picture it and um, it's going to happen man. We're going to make the deadline, the deadline is what, 4 o'clock? We're going to make the deadline. So I spoke to Kama, I've spoken to George and we're going to meet, we're just all going to meet um, at the event place where we're going to organize all our stuff and set up. And to me that sounds like good news, that everybody's putting their weight and we just have to trust each other, um, you know, there's nothing else we can do. I like it. <laughs> I'm so proud of you guys. 
Oh, yes. <laughs> copy in order to... Okay. So can you write it down? Can you write us a copy? Yeah. Eh, hey, I was yeah. joking. This is the dress that I designed for, for the wedding. It's all very 1920s inspired, which is in keeping with our theme that we decided on. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Good. We are at um, Zenith House because um, we need a seamstress and it's one that works quick and uh, she's really good at sewing stuff up and also we get to spend the day with her. Um, yeah, so that's why we're here, it's his house. She's helping us out. You know, I just want him to win and I'm not... <laughs> I don't think the other team deserves to win. Oliver Heng doesn't deserve to win. Their team is a bunch of people who are just sliding by. Great. Huh? Hey, how about you take a verse from a punk song that she likes? Yeah. I think Michelle kind of kicking herself because of sending it this year's away. Um, but, I mean, she's, she's not letting people push her around so much like she done the last time. I actually don't click with anyone in my team besides Garth creatively. Um, like I wanted to choose because I wanted to work with someone else differently because I hadn't worked with Becky before, and I also wanted to. I thought maybe that Andila would be good in the in the wedding thing because he has all that romantic sense about him, but I've gotten nothing from him yet. Um, Becky's sort of in his own world. He's nothing that I expected, and Nwaba and I clash uh, very badly. And well, I actually took her because Molo Behen and I made a deal. We made a deal. She said, "I'll take Lorato if you take Lawan Nwaba. So you take." My baggage, I'll take your baggage, and that's why I chose a Marvel. Do I? You know, but I don't put this in the one. Can you, can you hear clearly what she's saying? In the lyrics. This is the best, uh, yeah. Sound of nature. I do. Beautiful man. I think this would this is one of like the best options so far as to where we can actually have the the, the ceremony itself. Of course I'm feeling the pleasure. <laughs> we are counting in minutes now and you know, so have to put it together and but we are, we're almost done, you know, it's a mock-up, you know, and just give them the idea of what it'll look like as neat as possible and um, hopefully that'll work. We have to finish by four o'clock. We are running out of time, so um, uh, we have to package invitation. Uh, invitations. We have to print it. Uh, this storyboard, finish our storyboard, yeah. get that done. Try and get the beads to Umule Buheng. Uh, no, my P was so they finish the belt okay. and then we go straight to the venue. Okay, the invitation done. Can you just do me a favor and push them along because I've been screaming and screaming at them and it's, it's like it's an unheard, you know? It's really frustrating for me. Okay. Bye. What happened? Yeah. No, they haven't, we haven't printed anything yet. It is. Help us one. Did I said, even, make sure you get it printed by 12 o'clock so there are no worries. Did they even go to the dentist? They the haven't done anything. Nothing, nothing, nada. They're just, they're sitting there. Apparently, um, the three stooges that are there are incapable of getting into the car and printing the stuff. Everything is working out. And to be challenged, cool was to was to even design. The invitations, which is Upek, is a master of Uklondole. Now I'm coming up with the ideas, and Upek is better than the computer, and he's trying to to um, to make them look good, very good using the computer graphics and stuff. The problem I'm having is I'm feeling almost if once again Garth and I are doing majority of the work. Um, yeah, and we don't have any call time at the moment because Indila has used all the call time for personal reasons. Hello. I just wish you were here, OD. I know, I just wish you were here. The only person that I'm really struggling with is Andile. He has funny ways of going about doing things. I mean, he is a good drawer and stuff like that, but I mean, when it comes to cases of him using the, the, 
the production phone. We had, we've been, we had, we couldn't make phone calls because we never had airtime anymore. Those are just, you know, some other personal things that people make up, you know, just to create um, some dramas. And I've got my own things that I can say about other people. Yes. Finally. Not a minute too soon. <laughs> but we're not, getting, we're not getting any frantic calls from our team members, so either they're trusting us or they're not finished, they're not there yet. Jet line, super jet line, printed jet line, other jet line, we look on a house, Nanda Lavant Lava. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Yes. Bye. 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 <laughs> Y'all crazy. Y'all just crazy. Wow. Cool. I'm editing here for me. Hi, Michelle. I spoke to Becky, and they say they're on their way to the printers now. Yeah, apparently, the, that, I would assume that's what it means that they're on track. And how many of each am I doing? Uh, just doing one of those. One of, one of each. What happened? Please, I'm not cupping you out to so know what happened. It took longer, it's actually. It took longer than I thought. But were the invitations not, not ready or what was no, wrong? No, I think it's not. I still had to write copy for that. But when you've got a time limit, you've got to improvise and you've got to be quick. Okay, we've got to dress in an hour. We've been sitting around waiting. We were meant to be there at half past two. But it takes longer to actually improvise and to make sure that copy is right. It didn't have to be right. perfect. It just had to, like, go. It just had to go. Oh, well, I tried my best. How's your trip? It's too long. It's too long. Been here? No. That kind of rocks. I hope nothing bad's happened to them, but it's kind of oh, rocks that they're not here. We're gonna get penalised <laughs> for time. Which, yeah, which is expected because we did go over time, but we figured since we're late anyway, we might as well hand in a product that looks like it was worth going over time. Yeah, go guys. This is Michelle's team. <laughs> um, the couple that we have chosen to design for is actually an older version of me and an older version of Andile. And we thought to put us together because of different cultures and just fusion basically. So we wanted to mix the whole um, 1920s with a touch of Africa because it's 1920s still like that whole classic white wedding vibe but you know but then adding in his his culture with putting the African touch in it. We thought of orange with black, orange napkins, silver base plates, martini glasses as candles. Basically what we wanted to do was still keep the whole African vibe and not try to have a a centerpiece that is too cliche and stuff. So we went around to having as an African hat. We tried to use that as a centerpiece and we just put a bowl on top of it and we put some nice ribbon around it just to give it that, that African feel as well. I gave to seven say ribbons is the colors as represent the theme scenes are your opinion. Seven is a cardboard to, to wrap it around. Oh, you will have a little bit of a pony. We could paint in Yam, no Michelle. Together so that it can stay in equal memories as a band, but also attend to each other. I'm just going to take you through my thing, our 
our menu because we're fusing Africans and Corsa, so we, we get your normal like your porovors and whatever, like your your poiki cores, and then <clears throat> that's something in common with us Africans. We got an African pot stuff that we cook in the African pot, so I have that element showing in the front of the menu. The invite comes to you in this envelope with this pattern. You open it like this. And this side has got it's got Michelle's. Um, words to Andy and Andy's words to Michelle and then we've got the map and stuff like that. The inspiration for our 1920s theme wedding Kay was inspired by Michelle's bob which is very um, 1920s vaudeville mistrial kind of look so I tried to bring all those elements in the shape of the dress this is only a mock-up and would use um, silk chiffon for the for the for the top layer and underneath would use a nice satin. Michelle also informed me that she needs something that will also in, enhance her, cleav her cleavage to make her look sexier on her wedding day. The cake we chose also 1920s and also inspired and with feathers also we also thought that was a bit like an African element. Um, it's put on a hat box which obviously is 1920s and the hat box vibe. What fascinated me about the chapel was that it had a, a glass backdrop which overlooked which, which you could see through to the Berg, which with, with the Domini for, Afrikaans, for, for the, all the Afrikaans people would be standing with the glass backdrop behind him and Michelle and the, and the groom and Andina would be facing the mountains, pure and natural. Can I finish with the venue? Okay, but, then you do the cake. Okay, do the dress. You do the cake and the dress. I'll do the cake. I'll do the cake. Our concept lies around the obvious fact that marriage is about union, or fusion is the word that we used. Um, the fusing, like she said, was two f cultures, two families, two personalities. Now, because um, drummers are, you know, they're usually like musical. So he's a very liberal person, um, and the woman is a newsreader, so she's also very like staunch and strict and also like intelligent. So basically, we just wanted to fuse everything and make everything one. What's going to happen in our invitation is that um, on the first week, you're going to get this. It's like one drumstick with a little bit of a newspaper uh, saying coming soon. That's what you get first time. And it doesn't really reveal what's going on. So you better keep it. Then the second week or uh, the final piece, this is what you get. So like please join us. It's got all the details and the faces of the people, the picture of the couple. Then you know immediately who you're talking about. Because the fact that um, the chick, she's a she's a newsreader, and the guy's a drum, is a musician. We tried to fuse that those two together to make sense. The wedding is actually going to take place late evening as the sun sets. This is this is for a couple of reasons. One is that when we it symbolizes the fusion, the fusion of the two cultures, and in in a, in a more sort of nature like way, it's it's the fusion of the sun and the earth, and moving from day to night and things like that. And if you look here, this is this is the venue that we, we have chosen, which is Itala Lodge. And when the sun sets on the venue, this is what it starts looking like, which is the, the orange and the yellow and the cream, which um, is, is, is like the main colors that we're going to be using. We've incorporated the invitation into our table setting. This is just a reminder of uh, the invitation, just touching on it a little bit and also welcome, saying thank you to them for coming to the wedding. We have a very modern cake. We carry the sunflower concept through to brighten up and to link everything else, all the colors together. And with just the, the beads add a touch of culture and um, the stand also ties in with culture in terms of um, when at, at African weddings, most of the food is cooked in the black pot, the boiki. And um, this ties in nicely with that, um, adding a bit to that culture. And now we've come to one of the most important parts of the day. Our bride is traditional, but we didn't want to make that too obvious. Hence, we added just a touch of beads, which symbolizes tradition. And because we're fusing two different cultures, we didn't want to add sishwe shwe and bride beads, because this um, just say African. And um, this is just a mock-up. The real, the actual dress will be made of raw silk.
including our setting and everything else about um, our reception find, shows exactly what our theme is, the unity, the fusion of everything else, of the family, of the couple. And um, in that way, we carried across in a very warm atmosphere, but also very vibrant. And to, that's just the, what we think the perfect wedding would be. Simple, but um, with a touch of personal personality. I me, mean, I'm quite happy with what we did. You know, I'm, I'm very satisfied with what we did. I'm, I'm, I'm proud. Even, we, even if we lose, you know, I'd, I'd say that we went out with a bang because, like, we're raising the bar here. You know what I mean? So I'm quite happy. Very happy. Welcome once again to another Style Council where one of you will not make the cut. Malebu Heng, how did you find this task as a leader and leading the team? Um, both challenging as a leader and leading the team, um, but relatively, um, it was just challenging in terms of fatigue because we were so tired and time. Um, but I think overall we enjoyed, especially when it came to execution. Okay. Michelle, this is the second time you're leading. Um, how confident are you in your team? I'm very confident in my team. They did really well for the amount of time that we had I and mean, we all pulled together. So I'm actually very proud of them. As usual, deciding your fate tonight is our style council. Nathan Reddy, South Africa's most decorated and awarded graphic designer, has been involved in the industry since 1990. Fashion designer, Palesa Mokobong, she is a creative director in her own right. Unfortunately, Philippe Maziboko couldn't be with us today. And this week, our guest expert is Nicole Root, the owner of Event Exchange, which is a permanent bridal expo, and they specialize in helping brides with their weddings. Let's start with Mulebo Heng's team. Nicole, what were your thoughts? On their team? I think they executed the task very, very well, uh, particularly with the, the time constraints that they had. The team worked very well together. Um, not once did they ever let the pressure show. Um, I think, particularly with um, their teaser campaign that they did with the invitations, I thought it was very impressive. Well done. Um, I think there were some elements, new stuff definitely stood out. Overall, I was quite excited about exactly what you guys did. Um, in terms of the actual detail of stuff, very impressed with it. It looks like it comes from a, you know, from a professional wedding, wedding planner and it showcases the sentiments of these people so well. I was blown away. Well done, guys. And now for Michelle's team, Nicole, what did you think about their efforts? Um, also, I think very, very well done. Um, you know, you didn't have a lot of time to execute this. I also think you did a very, very good job. Um, only thing I was a little bit concerned about, when you are bringing a theme into a wedding, you need to be 100% a fay with the theme. I think in some aspects, especially the design, the 1920s was a little bit lacking there. Um, I think a lot of things were just brought into it and sort of hoped that they might have fitted in with that. Um, but otherwise, very well done. It was very, really good. Firstly, you tasked yourself with such a challenge between having a Cosa and a 1920s theme. Already it was such a challenge. And you gave yourself a little bit of a disadvantage you couldn't pull that off. If you had pulled that off, it could have been amazing. I don't believe you guys pulled that off. I just missed so many things. Um, you know, uh, little elements that really didn't, you know, gel for me. Like, a lot of things were forced. The designs were beautiful. There were a lot of, you know, beautiful, and, and I can see your efforts in, 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 in the whole thing. But I just, it was all over the place. Nicole, it's that time for you to announce who the winning team is. I think uh, one of the reasons uh, for our decision on the winning team was basically the concept that they created. Every element that they brought into it complemented their concept very, very well. They knew what it is that they wanted to achieve and they did very well with achieving that. So we would like to congratulate uh, Maleba Heng's team. Congratulations. You are now excused from Style Council. The first part of any brief is, again, the research, 
and understanding of the concept, okay? I always say stress it. To me, if you get those things right, I guarantee you the thing flows, okay? You guys put yourself in a real disadvantage by giving yourself such a challenge. 1920 and Causa. Tell me something about it, Michelle. I, didn't, I think we also felt we didn't want to just fuse in Western with Causa. It's the obvious. We don't want to have the obvious. We wanted a little quirkiness to it. And I think that's why we threw the 1920s in there. You know, sometimes, you know, quirkiness for the sake of quirkiness, you know, comes really out. comes out. And you can, it's glaring. And mm. it looks like, you know, a, mm. you know, a complete mess. Tell me why you thought it would work and what about it you thought was going to work and why are we not seeing that? It's not concept, <coughs> it's culture. It's Andili's culture with Michelle's culture. But that was, I mean, if Andili's going to have a marriage, that's what's going to be expected of him from family. Michelle, I mean, I get, you know, it gets the feeling that you're more of a 1920s era kind of girl. I didn't see any of Andelia's personality in this combination. That's I mean, also the gift we threw in. We wanted to also add in what we're about, and the gift was made by Andelia. So that was something personal. Because we have our family with us and our friends, the gift was supposed to be personal about us. A gift is, if you can look at it, I mean, you give someone a gift to remember you guys, okay? I can't imagine 80 people putting it up in their house. You know, so you guys didn't really think about it. Yes, That's a nice true. little painting. Okay, but it's not a gift that I'll put up in my house. Yes, you know, maybe Andila's mother will put it up, or your mama put it up, but not 70 or 80 other gifts. Uh, Becky, you tell him, can you tell me exactly what was your kind of contribution to this whole process? Okay, in the beginning, when um, we planned on people were gonna go and buy fabrics, do whatever, whatever, and then all of a sudden there was this, everyone must go to this one place. Were well, you happy with the concept initially, but? P yeah, I wasn't happy with it. Weren't you? Did you, you voice yourself? I did, I did. Because now, in the beginning, what happened is, everyone had to go to this place, and then what I asked, like, we haven't even done research yet. So, but now we're going off to this uh, dressing place to do the table setting or whatever. Like, what are you going to do there before? And then I, I, I opted to stay behind to do the research. And then to see what is it, what, 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 what things that we need to bring up and stuff like that. And then from there, what happened is, when they came back, <laughs> Everything that I researched was ignored. Me, I, I like, I saw it working, but I, um, I understand that there were like a um, couple of people who um, couldn't grasp the concept, and it, it was a bit difficult. One thing I can say, I didn't know much about 1920s. I only know um, that um, we could achieve this by researching. Um, I, we, we only researched um, about the 1920s after we went to the to the place that. Um, the, the, the place that, yeah, the, yeah. I did all the research for the 1920s and everything that you told me, guys. But yeah, but that's what we decided. And when you came back, yeah. all the research was never. Yeah. No one paid attention to all the research <coughs> okay, I've done. Um, the and research. then I'm asking myself why. To me, the people that are not shining in terms of real conceptual thinking, in terms of creativity, is Goth and Andile. Conceptually, I did contribute a lot because Posa is my culture, so I had to show everything that that um, that could be visible in the designs like and stuff, what? even even colors, like ethnic colors, like. Um, Those um, given. Like ports. I was really disappointed with him because I constantly have to, like, I find myself in a position of teaching him, like, this is what you must do, this is what you must do. And then I asked him to write copy about that, what brings out him in this thing because he's a groom, yeah. He didn't, cause I've constantly explained to him at the same time I'm trying to build a structure that we're trying to build. So it was like, you know, and then, it's, and then it came to a point where, like, a lot of the time we have to like tell you, tell you this, what you this, need teach to do. You this, teach you, you this, teach you this. You won't visualize it by yourself. So, but you then need listen. To explain it to you. But but if, then, if you, if you, okay, yeah. we, we listen on the line. I like to listen to what God has to say. The thing is, I did contribute throughout the whole thing. I mean, I contributed conceptually. And the night when I was sitting with Becky, the thing is, my con his computer skills are much faster than what mine are. And I will sit next to him and I will tell him, okay, fine, let's try this, let's try that, let's try this. And I mean, it's, it, I know my computer skills is not up to scratch. I mean, he's good at it. And I come to terms and I say, okay, fine, you're good at it, do it. And we'll sit and we'll point things, we'll, we'll say, let's do this, let's try that. Understand, we're not here to, as I, I reiterate the point again, not who's the hardest worker, but who's the most creative mind. And the contribution that they bring to a concept and an idea, those are the people going to be shining. This was very disappointing, guys. It's just, I didn't expect this. The moment of truth has arrived. Andile. Goth. Love. 
lo nuevo. The three of you are not safe tonight. The rest of you are excused from Star Council. You have a lot of ideas and you have a lot of thoughts and concepts, but people always seem to be talking above you. And Ile, our thought in this whole concept and of the wedding, you know, firstly, you know, you and Michelle decided basically the profiles were you. You know, yes, I can understand the 920 from Michelle. You, nothing came out, no ideas, except from a painting that had no relevance. You know, nothing else came out. Garth, again, every week I hear that you help people, you running around doing stuff. I need to hear you more conceptually, more creatively. Style Council has spoken. Andile, you did not make the cut. I'm going to ask you to leave. I didn't even understand the 1920s thing. And by the time that I wanted to make some research about it, Michelle just wanted us to go somewhere else. And if we had stick to uh, maybe to her tradition and my tradition, you know, I could have contributed more. I, I really give people the benefit of doubt and stuff. But this is a second task that I think Ukati has I mean, I think you know, a lot of things, and she's still young, you know. I think it's going to be a wake up call for God now to produce something brilliant because if he carries on like giving hand to a person that is always working, then he's going he's gonna to fall short. Next, on the cut, things heat up in an attempt to dress a window. Becky, you need to tell us what you're doing. I did not know you were press sticking pieces of paper on the wall. It's horrible and it's f***ing annoying when people don't like communicate. Listen, you're only complaining about this. When I got you, you guys haven't even set up. Even... My opinion, you failed. Because now, what you're supposed to be doing, you're supposed to put everything together. Then right I failed, baby, no. because I'm not staying anyway. Okay, so live with bye. that. Bye. As South Africa's hottest young designer, the winner of the cut will win a one-year contract to work for leading lifestyle and fashion retailer, Woolworths. A preloaded Woolworths card with which to shop for the latest fashions and designer food. And to get around in style, the winner of the cut will receive a car for a year, courtesy of Woolworths.